What is up guys? It's Awana Turtle and today we are going to do a quick Yu-Gi-Oh opening and we're doing something different. We're doing a older set. Instead of staying on the cutting edge, we're going back to Flames of Destruction. We have two special edition boxes. So these special edition boxes essentially come with three packs and two basically promo cards of a possible four different promo cards. So a bit of a shorter opening. Uh, however, I'm really excited about it. This is a bit of an older set, however, has a lot of cards in it to a point where getting this, getting these uh, boxes were pretty expensive. Uh, so we're going to be hunting for stuff like Infinite, Infinite Permanence, Nightmare, Unicorn, the Ghost Bell Haunted Mansion Hand Trap, and then there's other just really cool arts. I really like the kind of like all these like big mech dragons and stuff like that. So I wouldn't mind uh, pulling a Topic Logic Trisbania as well because I feel like that card just looks really cool and uh, it's kind of like the cover. I'm not sure if it's a, it looks like the cover art. Uh, so um, yeah, let's get into this new Yu-Gi-Oh or old Yu-Gi-Oh set, but new to the channel. Alright guys, so I went ahead and opened one of the boxes, but then it occurred to me this is our first time opening special edition, so maybe I'll do the second one. Kind of while talking to my thoughts about the special edition boxes, uh, I feel like it's the special editions is the Yu-Gi-Oh equivalent to kind of like a collection box or a Pokemon tin where you get a promo card, however it does add a sense of uh, randomness to the promo, but then it just comes with a couple packs and I feel like it is a little especially if you don't use like the tins and actually no one uses like the collection boxes after the fact you open it so in that respect it's a little bit better than pokemon i feel like there's less cardboard and plastic waste um however i, I think strictly Yu-Gi-Oh! in the Yu-Gi-Oh! sense uh, getting the straight up booster boxes is much better the promos at the, like there's going to be so many of them that i don't think they're ever going to be worth anything and i would say in that regard maybe pokemon's even a little bit better in that regard so let's see what we got hopefully we don't have two of the same sets so we have a universal adapter a uh mm, elemental lord <laughs> oh we do got the elemental lord again and universal adapter so those are our promos however the main treat is the six flames of destruction packs so these are unlimited edition but one thing about Yu-Gi-Oh is like the first edition, I like how they still have the first edition stamp. Uh, however, I feel like it doesn't mean that much in Yu-Gi-Oh uh, compared to like a lot of older stuff or vintage Yu-Gi-Oh or obviously vintage Pokemon cards. All right, let's see. We got Monster Reborn Reborn. This is very interesting. Kind of like how they uh, brought back Monster Reborn. We have a Defrag Dragon. I'm not. Oh, okay. Now I see it. I wasn't sure what I was looking at at first. Crystal Keeper. Pendulums are always kind of weird. And we have our super rare, which is Link Bound. And then a backup operator. All right, so nothing too great there. Transfamiliar, Yajiro Invader, Evolution, and then a Goki Bear Hug. <laughs> like that card. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of great cards in this set. However, they are, like for the most part, all the secret rare slot. And I think that's the... The tricky thing about these special editions where you you're not guaranteed any ratio so actually in that regard it's very similar to a pokemon box or tin oh my gosh we're getting like the same exact pack Ooh, red reboot i think this actually one is pretty cool it's a pretty crazy effect too where it's kind of like this is the last trap card you can set um however it kind of just like cancels whatever you want so I'll put this one in here not bad and then a nightmare mermaid or mermaids that's scary uh conclave back background dragon uh link steamer interesting and then another bear hug all right so we got a pretty good pull in that red reboot but yeah it's uh so like you can open up like a lot of these special edition boxes and not even get a secret rare or you can get really good ratio so Hopefully we do get the uh, latter of those two. We have a rest Restoration of the Monarchs, a Goki Octo Stretch. I think this is actually a pretty useful card, and then Nightmare Cerberus. I'm not sure, not too familiar with this one. I think the Nightmares are all about, is it this card? No, that one's not, but... And then a Trickstar Light Arena. Altergeist Emulatef, World Legacy Nightmare, and then another Link Streamer. All right, so no far, so far none of the big hits. Um, come on, let's let's just get a secret and we'll go from there. Prompt Thorn, Madolce, fresh start. 
a watch cat. That's a very underwhelming art. And then, ooh, okay, well, at least we got a ultra rare. Ooh, multi faker. This sounds familiar. Uh, That's a lot of stuff to read through. I'll have to put this one off to the side. I feel like this one might be actually pretty good. And then World Legacy Awakens. And then Alter Geist Pixels, Cyclone, and then Crystal Master. All right, two packs left. So we did get an Ultra, which is nice. And to be honest, like when it comes to ratios, if that's how it ended, uh, it wouldn't be like a terrible opening. Um, but I do want to get a secret rare. Trickstar Nightshade. Ooh, okay. Network Trap Hole. Another ultra rare. I don't think this is that good of one. Bonus on monsters. Main deck graveyard. Banish it face down. Alright. Feels, feels like a pretty good trap card, but maybe not good enough in today's meta. I feel like it's just the hand traps that are. That's the way to go. All right, last pack for this opening. Let's see, Medulci Fresh to start, Nightshade. I think this is the other um, thing, the other promo you can get. Um, back in the day, this would be crazy. Oh my gosh, four stars, no tributes, 2,000 attack. Now I was like, what, what do you forget about it? We have a wind up Zen maintenance. Oh, wow, this, this is a weird one. And then FA Dawn Dragster. All right, so overall, pretty good. Good ratios, two ultra rares, happy with that, but no secret rare, no crazy, crazy cards. Uh, but to quickly wrap up, we have a Network Trap Hole, a Red Reboot, and then a Ultra Geist Multi Faker. So pretty good opening, um, and maybe we'll see if we can continue to do these more of these in the future. If you did enjoy this opening, let me know by hitting that like button down below. It does help support the channel, and um, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that sub button so, uh, so you do see future content. And um, yeah, that's all we have for today. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.